everyone, it's good to be back. I've been away from YouTube for a couple of weeks and the only reason for that is that life got in the way. It's been a really hectic period and I've been juggling my usual work with house renovation projects and also getting some collaborations with other companies up and running. All of this type of stuff has just meant that it's eaten into my spare time which makes it extra nice to be back filming a video for you today. By the way, the painting you're looking at here is the very start of a huge moon painting on canvas. I've been working on that this week and it has been quite a story. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know exactly what I mean by that but I'm going to save all of this for next week's vlog and hopefully I will have finished the painting by then and you'll get to see the finished version. So today's video is going to be a little bit different to my usual vlogs because I've decided to film a craft tutorial showing how I made a decorative seasonal branch for my studio. I thought it would be fun to have a branch that I can decorate differently throughout the year and it will change depending upon the season. So I'm going to start here today with a spring or Easter themed branch and it will be changing throughout the year for the summer season and again for autumn or Halloween and finally for Christmas too. It's going to be quite a simple tutorial but I thought you may be interested to see how I did it. So let's get started. So first of all you'll need some kind of sturdy pot or container to hold your branch. I chose this big ceramic pot from Waitrose. I think it cost about £10 so it wasn't super expensive but it really looks good with the overall style of my studio and is sturdy enough to hold the branch. So while I was trying to decide how I was going to secure the branch in the pot, I went through several options and eventually I decided upon stones. Now I have an array of stones in my studio because I use them for my work, but you can buy bags of stones like this in any garden centre. You could even use gravel if you wanted, I guess, but I think larger stones, they look really decorative and they're great for holding the branch very securely in the pot. Here my able assistant Dominic is holding the branch for me while I place the first few stones into the pot. Please excuse my dirty painting cardigan. I was working in the studio the day I filmed this so I was just in my painting clothes but I know you lot won't mind. <laughs> I found it useful to pack the stones as tightly as I could around the base of the branch, therefore holding it steady and it's not in danger of toppling over. Just use the smaller stones to plug any little gaps and I saved some of the larger ones for decorating the top of the pot to make it look extra pretty. When you've reached the stage where the pot is full of stones and your branch is secure, go and make yourself a nice cup of tea and stand back and admire your work. Whenever I've seen anybody else painting a branch, they always seem to use aerosol cans of paint. For various reasons, I didn't want to use those, so I decided to use some white acrylic paint I already had in the studio. I use this in my work all the time, and you can get cheap white acrylic paint from anywhere. You can go to Hobbycraft and get just a small tube of it. You're not going to need very much to paint the branch like this. I'm using a very inexpensive basic brush for acrylic painting 
but you could also use a small brush you would use for decorating, as long as it's nothing too big. just very lightly brush on the paint I'm just giving it one coat all over and I'm allowing the texture of the branch to show through I didn't want the paint to be too thick because I want this to have quite a natural look if you're using acrylic paint just leave it to dry fully I actually left mine overnight just to make sure it was properly dry before hanging the decorations so now it's time to share with you all of the little things I've been saving up to put on my branch and they come from all over the place some of them I have bought and other ones are gifts the little bag of eggs there you can see came from Lavenham in Suffolk and they were a gift from my mum. Some of these came from Snape Maltings in Suffolk. And uh, the little white heart was a gift from my friend Angelique in the Netherlands. And the little wren was a gift from my friend Kirsty. some eggs myself or making some ornaments for the other seasons I'm going to have a think about that I have some ideas for the autumn season tree but um, yeah this one was just entirely things that I bought or been given with an egg and bird theme for spring put all the decorations on and then I suddenly remembered that I bought this lovely paper flower the other day and apparently it's handmade and it used to be $9.99 I got it for $4.99 which was an absolute bargain because it's beautiful so I added that to the tree mm -hmm. 